Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Adam from Thirsty Plum Baby. Today, oh, no. today we are going to be performing a procedure I've never done before on this bird of paradise. All right, before we jump right into it, make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you like it after you watch it. So you don't need to like it now, but like, you know, you know what I mean, all that YouTuber stuff. But yes, if you like to watch more of this thirsty content, make sure you subscribe. So this bird of paradise is sitting right in front of the big, big, big windows in my bedroom. Um, so it received a lot of sun because you know Bird of Paradise is a full sun to parche plant. Uh, especially indoor, you want to give it as much sun as possible. So I did that. I also didn't remove it from its own um, nursery pot. So I basically just put it in one of this metal posh pot that I have. And you are about to see something might be a little bit disturbing for you. So please, if you're eating right now, stop it because you're about to be grossed out okay so from time to time you know i have to deal with bugs in plants in soil and that actually just i cannot deal with like i'm a city boy i grew up in city i don't see bugs i don't i can't i can't deal with them <laughs> but today um it's not really bugs related it just it reminds me of bugs when you see it so um in this pot there's a lot going on I didn't actually realize it until about a few days before when I was watering it and I will say Hey boy, I haven't checked on you for a while, so... Maybe let's see what you have down there So this is a giant tray I got from my local nurseries uh, You can get it from any hardware store I see it Yes Yes, we will be needing that Some scissors Also, a new pot Because this one might be dead And fresh soils all right so as you can see this better paradise sitting in its own nursery pot and then in a posh pot which is not its size okay it's way too small for this nursery pot but i didn't care because i didn't have another bigger one and sometimes this things like the outside the posh pot are more expensive than the plants and that's ridiculous so that's what i did i just put it in there so obviously this nursery pot Finish about here so it doesn't actually touch the bottom and what happened was water that drained out from the soil will be sitting down there and when that happens your roots I mean not yours but like the plants the roots from the plants will actually draw towards the humidity and I think that's what happened there and it, it just it has grown outside of its pot it's disgusting looking it's scary but it's very healthy. All right, guys, it's time to do this. Let's take it out. Okay, it's been sitting here for a while. Okay, it's out. It's out. Are you ready? Oh my god. Oh wow. That is insane. Guys, I have no idea how long. This has been growing like this. I seriously cannot believe how much roots are there. All it, all it, all it. Ugh. Just disgusting. Okay. Why is it scary? Because it looks like centipede. It's disgusting. Oh my god, I can't look at it. But the thing is, it's just so big. How am I getting it out? Oh god. If I actually try to divide the root, I might be able to get it out from the hole. Yeah. Okay, I think we have... Oh god, it's, it's really hard. This is so tricky. I should have asked someone to help. I should have done this when the boyfriend was here. God. The roots are smoothed out. So, I think there's... A chance we can pull it out. What do you think? Should we do that? I think it's too late to do. I think we should just go ahead and do that. Okay. 
It's coming out, guys. It's coming out. It's coming out. Be gentle. Slow. Slow as you can. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, guys, we lost a root. But that's okay. Look at that. Guys, that is totally not okay. Well, lesson learned. Now make sure you actually clean out the water in the posh pot after, because otherwise, this is what's gonna happen. Right, so I am now going to pot it back, and I don't think I need to add more soil because there are plenty, uh, just not being used because the roots didn't actually grow on them. So I'm just gonna plant, put all this soil back in because it's healthy, it's happy to be in here. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly do this. Alright guys, so I have filled up the pot with this much of soil. It's quite a lot, it's almost half of the pot. But as you can see, half of the soil on the root, it's actually not being used. So, you know, I don't want to actually give it enough soil. Then later on, very soon, I will have to repot again. So that's not great. So I'm just going to plant this in. I'm going to dig a little hole and play this down gently. Because these roots are actually very fragile. So I don't want to cause them stress. Okay, so I'm going to slowly... Gently place them down. In. That seems a bit right. And now you are going to place the soil back into the site. God, stop it! You helping? All right, I'm gonna give it a quick check up to see if we need more water or not. I think it's a bit. Okay, it's a bit dry. So now we're just gonna give it some water. Alright, this board is ready to be popped into its own posh pot now. I am just going to chop off one of these leaves because it's looking old and it's about to come off anyway. And don't be afraid to cut your leaf off because that will actually help them. You know, if a one leaf is going to die, the whole plant is going to try to save that leaf. So, you know, you don't need it. It's fine. Totally fine. Cutting off an old leaf will actually promote more growth. So, you know, it's totally fine to do this. Alright, so after repotting this plant, now I'm going to give you a little gentle wash with the neem oil. This will prevent um, some bugs trying to you know leave on this plant so yes it's very important to do that once in a while make sure there's no dust on there and also dust will suffocate your plant because your plant actually breathes quickly so make sure you do that often all right guys thank you so much for joining us for this video i hope you enjoyed it and found something useful if you learned something new please give us a thumbs up if you got shocked it maybe gives a thumbs up too because I was shook. This plant actually scared me. But now it's on its way back to normal. And I'm very excited for it. Make sure you stay safe and thirsty. Maybe go check on your plants now because they might need extra love and they're just waiting for you to know. So yes, follow us on Instagram. I will see you guys in my next video.